Analysis of multiple choice question exam quality by performing item distractor analysis in SPSS. A distractor is the wrong answer in a multiple choice question. If a multiple choice question has four answer options, one of the answer options option will be the correct answer and the other three answer options will be the wrong answers and they will be the distractors and the function of the distractor is to distract the student or students from selecting the correct answer and attract them attract them to select the wrong answer so a distractor will be considered functional or effective if it is attracting more than five percent of the student for selecting that distractor and if the uh, uh, distractor has a percentage of students selecting the distractor of less than five then the distractor is not functional or not effective so a distractor aims an objective from analyzing the distractor is to find out and evaluate the efficiency of the distractor in distracting the student of selecting from selecting the correct answer and the way to calculate and evaluate the distractor effectiveness is to use the formula below by calculating and counting uh, the percentage of the distractor through counting the number of the students selecting distractor one or two or three divided by the total number of students multiplied by a hundred in this data view in SPSS I have a data extracted from a exam results for 25 students answering 15 multiple choice questions with four possible answer options labeled as a b c d and for each multiple choice question there is one correct answer in the case of question number one the option p is the correct answer for question number two the p is the correct answer and for question number nine the correct answer is C and for 15 the correct number is D and to evaluate the effectiveness of the distractor which are the wrong answer such as in the ex example of question number one A and C and D answer options are the wrong options so they are the distractors and to evaluate the effectiveness of these distractor to distract the student or the students from selecting the correct answer we're going to use the formula described previously and the way to do that is to click on transform click on compute variable and in the com compute variable generate a target variable call it option a and then we're going to select a move it to the numeric expression we're going to divide that by 25 which is the total number of students then multiply that by 100 to get the percentage and if you click on ok and you column is generated or a new variable is generated labeled as option a and I'm just going to do a few editing here reducing the decimal to zero and this column width to five and 
the uh, line the value into the center and I'm going to also generate and compute the percentage for option B and C and D and the, by clicking on transform compute variable reset this and then call it option P and then select the data or the variable P going to divide that by 25 multiply multiply that by a hundred click on OK again a column here is produced and I'm going or a variable a new variable we're going to do the editing and then make it center and I'm going to do the same thing for option C reset option C and then select the variable C divide that by 25 multiply that by 100 click on OK a new target variable is generated I'm going to do some editing here reduce that to 5 and that's into the alignment make it into center and then I'm going to also compute variable for the last answer option which is D and I'm going to erase this and then select D divide that by 25 multiply that by 100 click on OK and a new target variable is generated doing some editing here reducing the decimal reducing the column width and make it making the value centered and here I have the percentage of each answer option in each question selected by the student and if we look at the data here we can see that from question number four the option A percentage is four and that is less than five so this distractor is not distracting the student from selecting the correct answer as there are less and less student selecting this uh, wrong option so um, for question number four option answer option a need to be replaced or changed as it is non-functional or ineffective question number five uh, option D have a percentage of zero which means that no student has selected that uh, answer or this option again this is an unfunctional distractor as it failed to distract the student from selecting the correct answer and did not attract the student to select it so this is a uh, an effective ineffective distractor need to be replaced or rephrased and uh, if we scroll down a little bit to question number uh, 10 we can see here that distractor a and distractor c uh, the value is below than five percent which means that this distractor failed to attract students and uh, their value is less than five which means that they are non-functional or ineffective and they need to be replaced and again the same for question number nine uh, option a question number eight uh, option a and also for question number 13 as it have as uh, option c uh, zero value question number 12 have uh, two uh, option c and d value less than five and question number 15 have option c less than five percentage of the student selected that options this is the way to evaluate and assess the distractor effectiveness and determine whether the distractor is functional and effective 
or not functional or uh, ineffective in and this is the way to do it in SPSS.